around here. It's a new thing for me, having a man. <laughs> but he's got long hair, so, you know. I can kind of close my eyes. Imagine. So, folks, while we're on the, uh, while we're on the uplifting subject of elderly men and death, here's another one. There's a lovely man, his name is Arthur, and he lives in a, in a home in Penticton in, in British Columbia, in, in the west coast of uh, Canada. And I call him when I'm home, I call him every Sunday, and he regales me with stories of when he was a younger man, and tales of his beautiful, beautiful wife. And she was 15 years of age when she came over on a boat from the highlands of Scotland, and she came into a life of servitude. She was going to be a maid in the house. And uh, she was a bit wild. And it was a very strict Scottish Presbyterian community that she came to. And so they were always coming to her house and asking the woman of the house to come down. And they were like, look, you got to ask her to wear a dress every now and then. You know, pants. And also, can you ask her to ride side saddle every now and then? And while you're at it, can you ask her to use the saddle? <laughs> she was a wild woman, and he just fell right in love with her. And so a couple of years down the line, when she was all of 17 years of age, he walked up to her at the dance, and he said, you and I, we're going to be married. We're going to start courting. And she looked at him with those fiery, green eyes and said, can you cook? <laughs> and this is 75 years ago. <laughs> and he said, uh, what, you? what was that love? Only vegan food. Only vegan food, yeah, well, you know, just doing the thing. <laughs> and so he said, what are you talking about, woman? You know, men don't cook. Women look after the children, the home the food, everything. <laughs> Men do whatever they want. <laughs> and all 17 years of her looked at him without moving a muscle and said, well, if you want the marital conjugals. So consequently, Arthur is a fantastic cook and they had nine children. <laughs> But uh, poor Arthur lost her when she was only um, when she was only 68 years of age to Alzheimer's, and I know what that's like. My maternal grandmother lived with us uh, till the end of her innings, and uh, oh, I just made a cricket reference. I'm <laughs> Australian, I am. <laughs> Mate. <laughs> but uh, and he used to he used to go in and he used to see her uh, near the end of her life, and and when he opened the door of her room where she, was, where she was ending her days, she was swaying, she would sway all the time. And uh, to ease his broken heart and his, and his worried mind, he would think that she was remembering them dancing because they danced all the time. And so he told me that story and after I cleared up a flood of tears, uh, I wrote this song for them, it's called Their Walls. Yeah. 
It's the sound of your voice You're calling me back